Hi and welcome to my review of the goodies, the complete LWT series. Today we're up to Football Crazy. With Bill an out of control football hooligan, Tim tries to reform the game and its spectators. But soon their passion for football is replaced by a passion for ballet. But will the spectre of violence and hooliganism ruin even this genteel art? There are so many highlights in this episode. The opening sequences showing Bill as a hooligan at the football, then at the hospital, then at the cemetery are so fantastically well done and so funny. It is really savage in its depiction of the kind of behaviour some people exhibit as spectators at sporting matches. Right from the start, they come in really strong in questioning why hooliganism is acceptable. The ad parodies return in great form. We see Tim with slicked back hair again in this episode, reminiscent of his turn as the robot Winston Churchill stand-in in in War Babies. Now, is it just me, or is there a slightly more sexy feel to these LWT episodes? I did comment last time about the scene where um, Tim was giving Bill a spanking, and in this episode we have Tim giving a very excited speech about footballers. And the football match that Tim organises does get quite sexy. I love the sight of Tim in his evening wear, and this image combined with the zombie-like football supporters who are following him around, to me, gave this moment in the show a real hammer horror feel. I just loved Tim as a ballet hooligan. This is such a brilliant idea in the show. And we get three times the Graham here as Graham plays all three hosts of the big match simultaneously. I felt this was a reflection of the new budget and new possibilities they had with LWT as I don't think this shot was something they could have done at the BBC. Or if they did, it perhaps wouldn't have been done quite so well. Now a question for location spotting enthusiasts. Is this the same theatre that we saw used in Royal Command? Because to me, it looks the same. Graham's dying swan dance routine is laugh out loud funny and weirdly compelling. Graham's dancing has come so far. And in this episode, he even gets to dance in front of dancing legend Wayne Sleep. Speaking of Wayne Sleep, he is the guest star in this episode in one of the most hard-working turns of any guest star I've seen in the series. I really didn't remember this episode at all, but it's a fast-paced and really funny episode with some very strong points to make. It asks us to consider why hooliganism is acceptable in one context, football, by showing us how utterly absurd and unacceptable it is in another context, ballet. As satire, it's brilliantly effective while also being hilariously funny. As a side note, I learned in Andrew Pixley's fantastic booklet that accompanies the LWT set that Tim was actually involved in the football world and was actually really concerned about football hooliganism. So there is some really serious intent behind this episode. And Tim really is front and centre in this episode and is in superb form. I know a lot of people have very mixed feelings about these LWT episodes, but so far to me, it seems like there's a really fresh energy in these stories. Perhaps with a new director on board at a new network, they felt a little bit revitalized in what they were doing. Whatever it is, I hope it continues through the season. So far, I'm really enjoying the LWT episodes. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you'll join me next time when we move on to Bigfoot. I'll see you then. Bye.